So Google recently dropped this 68 page document on prompt engineering, but who's really reading all of that? Unless you're taking the document and putting it into notebook LLM, which I highly recommend and just listening to the audio overview. Here are the key takeaways for beginners if you want to get into prompt engineering and use it with these AI models. Number one is to use zero shot prompting. This is when you just tell the AI what to do. No examples, just the task. Like write a cold email to a SaaS founder. It either gets it or it doesn't. Number two is to use few shot prompting. If zero shot prompting isn't hitting right, give it examples. Like showing three product reviews and labeling them positive or negative. The AI learns the pattern and follows suit. In this case, more context equals better results. Number three is to try role prompting. So you give the AI a role like a teacher, a chef, a developer. For example, act as a nutritionist and explain macros to a beginner. Suddenly, the tone, the language, the answers get way more relevant. Number four is chain of thought prompting. This is where you tell the model to think step by step. So you could prompt it with think about this sequentially and this is great for anything with logic or reasoning because it slows the AI down and it doesn't start guessing or blurting out nonsense. Now number five is system prompts. This is you setting the rules and adding structure. Be clear on what you want and how you want it. Like classify sentiment and only return the label in uppercase. And that tight instruction avoids fluff or weird extras. Number six is step back prompting. So you ask a broader question first and then the real one. Like what are some common challenges in SEO? And then you'd follow that up by now explain how to solve one of them. So you're warming up the model's brain before giving it the main task. And number seven is self-consistency prompting. So run the same COT prompt a few times and see if the answer stays the same. If it changes, then pick the one that shows up the most. This gives you a sort of way to vote for the best answer, especially for the more complex stuff. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more about AI prompt engineering, no code development, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe.